In 2016, a group of George Mason University undergraduates, mentored by faculty, explored the little-known slaveholding legacy of George Mason IV, the American patriot and the university's namesake. The result was the Enslaved Children of George Mason Project, which revealed the lives of the enslaved who lived and worked at Gunston Hall, Mason's home in Northern Virginia. The project led to the creation of the Enslaved People of George Mason Memorial, the centerpiece of the redesigned Wilkins Plaza on the Fairfax campus, and a focal point in how we are addressing our institution's identity as it relates to a complicated patriot. Often in my classes, when we begin to discuss George Mason IV, students are familiar with the fact that he penned the Virginia Declaration of Rights and that that document became foundational to our nation's Bill of Rights. They are often surprised to learn that George Mason IV was also a slaveholder. Yes, his name is across our shirts, his image blazed across our campus, and yet only recently have we begun to reckon with the fact that George Mason IV held more than 100 people, men, women, and children, in bondage. The four quotes surrounding the Mason statue exemplify four Masons in one. The brilliant legal scholar, the ardent defender of individual freedoms for a limited few, the enslaver of black men, women, and children, and the father of nine who provided for his family at Gunston Hall. Penny, an enslaved child given by Mason to his daughter, animates the experiences of a girl disappeared from the public record. She stretches out her hand and navigates a narrow staircase reminding us of her vulnerability, her strength, and resistance, as if to say no more. Compelled to serve George Mason, James offers a quill for writing declarations, his fist symbolizing resilience and a reckoning. At the bottom of the water fountain, is a stone pattern symbolizing an African custom practiced at Mason's Gunston Hall Plantation. Enslaved people came to this ritual site to pray and to look to their origins across the sea. The late Roger Wilkins was an African-American civil rights leader, a Pulitzer Prize winning journalist, and a former Mason professor. This plaza is dedicated to his legacy. As he said, we have no hope of solving our problems without harnessing the diversity, the energy, and the creativity of all our people.